Hello Mo2 fans, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Masterverse New Eternia Skeletor figure made by Mattel. Take a look at the packaging. The, the packaging is just the usual Masterverse packaging. You get the window exposing the figure and all his accessories. His name, recommend for Age of Six Plus, Matt, Mattel logo. You get his name, Evil Lord of Destruction. Here's the barcode you want to look for this guy for yourself. On the side, you get a cool artwork image of Skeletor. And on the back, you get another artwork image, really cool. And here's a bio about the character. Go ahead, pause the video if you want to read it. Here's other figures from the Wave 4 line, so that's about it. Let's take out Skeletor out of the package. Here is Skeletor New Eternia out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Take a look at the head sculpt. I would say they did really you know, not too bad a job with the, this version of design of Skeletor. It looks really good, I would say. You, you get like his little beard right there, which is strange because um, his head is a skull, to be honest. Yeah. There's no way a a evil skull head can grow a beard with no skin, obviously. Eh, probably just like based on the original concept that hey, Skeletor was originally gonna have facial hair, but but we couldn't do it because it makes no sense once and for all. Yeah. But still really not too bad look on the design on him. Uh, take a look at his helmet. Very neat, very well sculpted, but kind of reminds me of Magneto's helmet, I would say. And take a look at the body. The whole body is obviously exactly the same body as the, I would say, the previous He-Man character figures that I reviewed. And also this loincloth thing is different, I would say. And you get this little cape right here, which is removable, that you can actually take this off. And shows more of it, of Skeletor's uh, armor here, which uh, had some not too bad detailed look on the, the figure. And you can see there's like a little sheath here for the uh, for the sword. And you get like this sort of a whatever I guess is a hawk thing, if I'm not mistaken. And you can take a look at the hands. You can see they're both are creeping hands. You get the gun trigger finger holding hand which he does not come with a blaster and you get the normal little hand here on the on the bottom you can see there's some arm some leg pads over there and some straps sculpting on the, uh, the, the pads and on the bottom there's some um, two pebbles from the bottom of his feet and some there's like a serial number on his right foot uh, look at his toes and I don't think there's any illegal stuff, thankfully. Uh, but he's not wearing any underwear. Ew, sorry, censored. YouTube, don't censor this. Yeah. Anyway, but still a really a not too bad looking figure, I would say. Moving on to articulation. The head does go fully rotate. Does go up and down. Arms doesn't go fully ro rotate because it's hindered by this arm pad. But does go in and out. Arm rotation. Double jointed elbows like so the wrist do rotate and has the hinge there's um app rotation pit forward back waist rotation legs kick forward and back in and out very smooth i would say upper leg rotation double jointed out knees there's the ankles on the pad right there i need the ankles to go pit forward back and ankle pivot side to side just a standard masterverse articulation but you can still give him some crazy possibilities with this guy accessories he does come with well besides the the cape with armor which does not stay on very easily just sits there that's it uh-huh and he does come with some interchangeable hands. He does come with a fisted hand and the open palm hand, but no, the exactly the same hands as 
like you know both sides I could get two fisted hands and two open palm hands that's about it but Mattel I have no idea why I would do not do that I hate it. Uh, he does come with the alternate head, the classic looking head. So you take off the uh, the head right here and put on the the classic look, and there you go. There you have the classic looking Skeletor. Yeah, I would say it's not too bad. It looks good on him. But I'm probably gonna display him with the. Uh, with this helmet on without the cape here because it keeps coming off so yeah he does come with his famous staff obviously the ram staff that you can actually put on each side of the of his hand like so come on Go. And and final oh, yeah it's a bit heavy with the staff. His hand is a bit loose I would say. I don't know, I'll put super glue on the peg so it can stay on him easily. Uh, yep. And finally, he does come with the the sword. Yeah, that's about it. You can either put it on his sheath, like so. Or put the other way, like that. Or you can actually put it on his hands. Which does fit on his hands. Oh, there we go. It looks badass with all his weapons, or his staff and his sword. Anyway, overall for the figure itself, I, I really do, I really do love this figure. The articulation, well, standard Motu articul Masterverse articulation. Accessories, not too bad. Just the uh, interchangeable hands and heads. I really like the uh, staff on him. The hand is just a bit loose. So I'm probably gonna fix that with uh, super glue and everything. I really like the um, the armor thing, but I hate when it's not well. I don't know, like one of those clip things right there. I really wish you could like have like some sort of peg hole and then just and peg it on the uh, the other armor pad. It'll be way better than just whatever these things. But well, still a really a great figure, and I definitely recommend getting this figure anywhere you find this figure. I got mine at Amazon for the retail of $21.99. Yeah. But still, I still recommend getting this figure. 9 out of 10 for me. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please like, share, and comment. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, New Eternia Skeletor figure made by Mattel. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.